Welcome, everyone. It's October the 11th, 2023. This is the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Topics for today include uh, temporary expansion of scope for the security audit. That one was, I've added it with Vodek, but Vodek's not here, so I'm going to move it down the list. What's happened recently in UI? And, and a reminder about Jenkins elections. Any other items that need to be added to the list? Okay, then let's let's talk to the talk to the recent improvements in UI. So to items that I'm aware of, we've now got better delete dialogues for agents, clouds, users, log recorders. Instead of a browser dialogue and instead of navigating to a new page, you get the modern experience of an actual delete dialogue that appears inside the page. Looks really nice. Thanks, I believe, to Marcus Winter uh, for that one. And we've got cloud management interface improvements. This one is still ongoing. Tim, maybe you can give some highlights here, but what I've seen is the pages have been reworked to be more manageable, to be page specific per cloud. Anything that you want to highlight there, Tim? Uh, not, I mean, a little bit. So yeah, basically it means that when you have quite a few clouds or VM templates, um, they're, um, collapsed so that um, they're each on their own page. It means you're not loading a lot. It's a lot easier to read and find things, uh, easier to manage. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah, now there, and I believe there are still improvements there that there have been some bumps along the way, but they, they continue. Any any other any questions or other topics related to that cloud management interface improvement? Um, maybe so. Depending on the purpose of this meeting, where it's going, um, there is an open pull request that is about to be merged that allows reordering the clouds on the overview page. And in the current iteration. There is no UI element that indicates how users would reorder it. Um, so I left non-blocking feedback on that. I know that Vadek also, uh, when I explained it to him, pointed out that this is probably not great. Um, on the other hand, I think Tim was happy with it, um, as well as uh, Alex. So I don't know. Um, would it make sense to to take a look in this group of people interested in the UX um, to see whether it is acceptable as is or uh, should be should be changed? I think I was, hap I was happy enough with that. It's not perfect, but we didn't have a great option. We looked at a few of few. There was a few iterations, um, and also the number of people I expect to reorder this. It's very, would be very, very low, I would expect. Um, I, I, had, I had no idea until the, um, until it was, until that PR came in, that the order even mattered. Um, and I don't think many people would have known about it. Right. Um, but there is now no drag handle for the reorder in the current iteration but people would need to drag on the cloud icon. And, and given that is, this is the only table in all of Jenkins that works like this, I feel like this should be perhaps more explicit. I don't know, Mark, could you could you perhaps open the pull request or are you not set sure. up? Sure, uh, I am uh, happy to open the pull request. So let's go there, Jenkins core. Right, it's pull request 8492. Okay, great. So. Eight four nine two. Yeah, and the current. Let's my... oh. say so one, one of my preferences was just to drop the logo and play, and replace it with a drag handle. Right. Mm. So right now the expectation is that you drag on the cloud icon on the left. In an so earlier the, the video, the video at the top, Mark. Oh, you want me to actually play the video? You're okay. You bet. Here we go. This one. So. Okay, so the cloud is the thing that's the drag handle. 
Right, and in the previous iteration, there was both a drag handle, like the three horizontal lines, plus the cloud icon, where the feedback was, this looks a bit weird. And then the cloud icon was on the left, and the drag handle on the right next to the configure icon, which also wasn't ideal. So we have a bunch of uh, variants that all have certain drawbacks. Mm. Um, and right now we chose the one that looks the nicest, in my opinion, and also in my opinion, is the least clear from a user point of view how to do things. I don't know, is, is anyone else in this meeting interested in, in the topic or can we move on and wait for user feedback? Well, but but isn't the, I'm interested in the topic because I think <laughs> Tim's point was a, a good one that not being even aware that ordering of clouds was relevant. And I think there's text there, my eyes aren't that great, but there's text there that now hints that order matters, uh, but but no hint to the drag handle there, there, yeah. Right, that was also review feedback um, that there was the ability to reorder the clouds, uh, but nothing, we have nothing that explains why the order matters. Right. And I think there's, so, a, there's, a, there's a tool tip on the order, I think. If you, if you were to hover over order, it does pop up and tell you how to do it, I think. Uh, no, it's it's a little text on top of the table over uh, on top of the table there during no provisioning clouds are trying. No, I mean there's a t there's a tooltip as well. Well, in the video, yeah. it only says Kubernetes. Yeah, he, he's not hover hovering over the yes. the order column. Would a quick fix be that when you're hovering the uh, cloud, you you get that you know the universal dragging indicators? Like they could replace the cloud icon or something like something visually happens that indicates that you're now able to drag. I think the pointer's different. Could you play again, please? Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. four directional yeah. arrow pointer. I mean, if you wanted to shoot this over to me, I can mock up something because I've already made some changes to the um, pod templates in this area. Ah, if yeah, Christina, if 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 you'd be willing to take a look at it and offer some alternatives that I think yeah. I, I'm at least interested in it. And I I this was coming from Vincent. I'm confident he'd be interested <clears throat> as well. It wouldn't be a big fix, but I think um it would help give clarity. Can someone throw me a ticket? Sure. Absolutely. I'll 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 send you something. That's great. Should should, should this be blocking? I, I don't think this should be blocking. I, th I think it's an easy tweak that can be done afterwards. Um, right. It says it says drag and drop to reorder cells. If you hover over order, it's not shown in the video. Oh, okay, so there is text when you hover. If you hover, if you over hover the, long if enough, it over will the, give you text. Over the order column. So over the heading on the column. Ah, oh, the header. Okay. I, I see. think you still would want to put the grippies, for lack of a better word, the little, those little, but just a little bit of visual indicator there. That you can do something so you don't have right. to have uh, mark could you could you open the comment history of the pull request comment scroll up a bit edit where it says edited edited oh this one yes okay yeah. and now uh, select the second entry two weeks ago uh -huh. and uh now click the link that says github.com slash assets this that one. one okay so this will show us that's a download of the video. Okay, so now you're boldly going to have me open a file on my file system. Just a minute, I'll get it there. So right, here's so the movie. I think I've got a movie player that will show it. Okay, right. Uh, apparently GitHub isn't... So this is how it was previously. Yeah, so let's let's play it one more time. So it was with the, the three, but the problem with the three is... Or it was the concern with this that it's not as attractive because the 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 cloud icon and and the drag handle are somehow duplicated? Uh, it's, the page is off balance, really, by ah. just shunting the name to the right. You've got this. I think what I would do. Cloud... I would gray out the black of the lines so that it's like a fifty percent 
black so it's more subtle. It doesn't have to say order at the top of the column and just align and, and I would choose a narrower icon. Like I think yeah. there's some subtle changes. Um, I think the, the order was visually hidden at some point where it was only vis visible to screen he screen readers. Mm -hmm. um, I think it popped back in. Well, it was yeah, in this I video, think... but it was it also popped back <clears> in <throat> when when it when the handles disappeared. Mm. I think that would be like probably an area that you would want area to skip because, well, I don't know because if you want to be accessible, you're going to open a real Pandora's box of. Com complexity to like be able to grab a handle with your keyboard navigate have it read back what order it is in now as it's moving right because you would need that audio or that audio cue if i couldn't see the screen or i had low vision how would i know okay i've grabbed you can probably get to the point where you could grab the handle to drag but then as i was moving it through the listing I would have no context for where I am in that list, like where I'm dragging it to. So if you wanted to build out the experience of some sort of feedback, like it would not be a minimal effort. No, I feel like that's, a more I mean? that's a more generic fix. Yeah. Right. So. Okay, so I, I, I'm trying to be sure I've understood. So non-blocking, this is this the thing that's already here is is already a good step forward i think was the was tim's proposal and i think i agree with him this is this is an improvement and we should go forward with it christine has agreed that she's willing to provide some suggestions of things we might do in a subsequent pull request did i state that correctly christina are you okay with that tim and Don, daniel as well Yep, should be fine. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you. Good good use of this session. Thanks very much. Anything else on the cloud, the cloud reordering work? Okay, the next topic was prototype JS has been removed. Tim, I think in honor of your your bravery in launching this six months ago now, was it? You should tell us a little bit. Yep. So between, I mean, Basil's done a great blog post on it with all the contributors and everything that we did. Um, yeah, but we finally managed to drop prototype, which is something that people thought that we wouldn't be able to do, that we're too tied to it. Um, and yeah, so unblocks usage of some frameworks and libraries that break with prototype in there because prototype just mute, just comes and hijacks a bunch of JavaScript core JavaScript objects um, and um, just makes it so those frameworks don't work. I know Uli's already made some changes to his libraries to remove some hacks and workarounds um, that he had in some of his API plugins to try and work around it. Um, but it, yeah, it means that some frameworks can work natively without hacks and workarounds or at all. Yeah. The, okay. The realizing that prototype JS was rewriting, effectively rewriting the JavaScript language <laughs> and blocking other libraries. That amazing. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uli, anything you wanted to observe on this one? Oh, I, do we, we may have lost Uli. No. Okay. He's still there, but he's outside of the default view. Right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to Basel as well. Great results from, from months of effort. Thank you. Thank you. Now we've also added the Java 11 end of life administrative monitor. So in, as part of an effort to better care for users and alert them when things are reaching end of life, um, some months ago, we added a warning about operating system end of life. Java 11 will reach end of life from several of the Java providers in October of 2024 or September of 2024, depending on which provider. And so we've, beginning with weekly 2.426 last week, uh, we're now raising an admin monitor if you're running Jenkins on Java 11. 
And the intent is people will switch to Java 17 over the course of the next year so that when in, I think it's September of 2023, we will switch the uh, minimum required version to be Java 17. Twenty twenty four, maybe. Oh, more. oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, we are not going back in time. Thanks very much, Bruno. Yes, you're right. My DeLorean is not working, so thank you. To Java seventeen. Any questions or concerns there? Any items that I've missed on UI highlights, and UI improvements, recent improvements and changes. Okay, the next topic was the Jenkins Officer Board and Officer Elections. Please, um, sorry, uh, oh, oh, go ahead, Daniel, yes. Note, uh, question, um, it seems like the pace of changes has slowed down a bit uh, recently. Is that just subjective or um, have we lost interest or... Is, is there fewer interest in, in uh, UI changes or what's going on? Tim, perhaps you know? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Jan. I guess hasn't had time recently. I don't know. I have, need to check with him, see what's going on there. Uh, and yeah, I haven't had as much time. I've done, I've done some stuff, but not a huge amount. No, mm -hmm. I, I, I have yeah. seen new releases of Pipeline Graph View, for instance. So there are still some things happening, but. Yeah, I've been working on theme manager and configuration as code stuff recently. Oh, and okay, we didn't, we didn't even. Like there's... Go Sorry, go on. No, no, go ahead, Daniel. So it's not like there's, you know, we're done and now things are done. No, or... it's, no, it's not done. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just, yeah. just been focusing on some non-core stuff recently, but a bunch of stuff around Prism and that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. And okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Anything else on UI improvements? Uh, so yeah, I, mean, I forgot to mention, but the new theme manager API for that um, can be used to detect. Prefer, uh, preferred themes and like light, light and dark modes. Um, I think the pipeline plugin that provides the um, in-page pipeline editor has been updated, um, and so is Prism API. And maybe something else. At least those two. Um, so now you get light and dark themes on on basically non core elements, um, and they and they adapt as you change the page. So our design library has been adapted, um, which is just quite an extensive use of Prism, and um, yeah, that was the other main one. Uh, Tim, you were you, you what you, when you were saying triggered for me one item, which there was a there's a pull request for replacing what was it log visualization and and now i'm i apologize i should have remembered this one beforehand i think this was one that devin nussbaum was in has been involved with and others have been involved with but i'm not sure that it's reached merge that it's merged yet it's just in in i believe it's in review and in discussion i think so i haven't had a chance to try it locally okay uh, I and think it's, it's largely done, so probably yeah. in the next week or two. Yeah, and replacing is the wrong way. It's it's some sort of repluggable log visualization, right? So that it allows you to change the console link, basically. Provide a plugin that can change the console link. Yeah, so um, it's interesting because it is a full replacement. So if you click the... Uh, uh, animated uh, build progress symbol, the progress bar or select the console link in the side panel, you get taken to different pages. 
than just a regular console output. However, the uh, console URL still works. So uh, you can get to the existing log output by navigating there directly if you need to. Um, but otherwise, it's a full replacement on the UI. Ah, okay. So it, it it's basically a supersede that link. Oh, well, thank change, you. It change, changes that link to an API, basically. So instead of everything pointing to slash console, there's an API that you can use to get the con get the active console link. Got it. Thank you. And and that one again has not has not landed. It's it's but Daniel, your indication was it's made good progress and seems likely to arrive within the next few weeks. Yeah, that's that's my expectation here. So I left a bit of feedback not too long ago that has been addressed. Um so um should be just a few more days. Great. All right. And I wanted to see the, the video. Okay, so there it is, pipeline graph view. And you make that icon. Uh, console output. Oh, okay, panel. there, that was a change. Okay, I see. So usually when I click console output, it takes me to the real console output. This change says graph view could now make itself go right to graph view for console output. Got it. Right, and I'm not sure that graph view is a, great in its current iteration is a great entire replacement because I think if you have no stages there's no output or there right. is a similar limitation there plus if you replace the link with your custom view you probably want your approach to have a link to the basic log view just in case so uh, but I guess that can always be iterated on Right. And it's it's pretty pretty nice, working really nicely and configurable and all of that. Great. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Any other items that I've missed on UI pending or, or recent UI changes? I'm working on a change at the moment to display configuration as code errors in the UI rather than throwing up a giant error page and telling people to look at the logs and the logs are quite unreadable anyway. It, it was, yeah, bef before the, okay, it relied on the stack trace being to, shown in the UI, but at some point it was changed to not show stack traces. Um, and so it really needed improvements. Great. As yeah, yet, so th this is- Very this hard is... to read anyway. This is the the configuration is code failure mode, right? Where I, I I mistakenly put I misspelled a keyword or a keyword has changed and it it stops Jenkins launch. I can't even revisit the web page. So your idea is they will be able to get to the web page and see the error in the web page. Yeah, yeah. There's a core change that's needed to make the boot one work because there's boot failure. There's, there's no current way to interrupt the boot failure screen. Um, but I've got a PR that does it. I just waiting to, I just need to write a test for it, but I've been focusing on improving the UI. Great. Thank yeah, you. A bunch of, yeah, it was weird. There's boot, a whole bunch of boot failure exceptions, but nothing seemed to work. Okay. Any other topics on, on recent UI improvements? Okay. Next topic then was just a reminder that the board elections are running. Please register to vote. Uh, we've put a nice big red button at the top of the community pages. Click this button here that says register here. You need to register every year. Um, Vadek, with you here, I think you had put this into the notes from last last meeting. Did you want to talk briefly about this temporary expansion of scope for security audit? So actually, there is nothing to talk about in the sense that I posted the message last time or last last uh, previous previous meeting. If you scroll down a bit, 
you will see just the explanation that we are stopping the effort at this point. Uh, a bit below, yeah, the exponent scope was proposed for two months. We are the end of the two months. So at this point, we were not able to find anything useful there. So we are stopping the effort. So it means that we stopped the effort two months ago at this point. Great. All right. We are so... continuing to review the thing in general, but we are not requesting any blocking and this kind of thing for things that are not related to the UI. So we keep the same thing as before two, uh, four months ago now, in a sense, where we are getting more of the, most of the, the XSS and this kind of thing in general. Great, thank you. All right, any other topics for today's meeting? Okay, thanks for your time then. Recording should be available within the next 24 hours. Thanks very, very much. Have a great day. Have a good Wednesday.